Hey guys, welcome back to my garden and today I want to show you basically how I'm just gonna like clean up this plant a little bit and take off some of these runners and dead leaves and as well as some of these dead fruits that I noticed growing like this one I took off right before starting this video and I realized let me show you guys basically how I do that so in case you're growing cucumbers indoors you could kind of do the same thing now the reason why I'm doing this you could see that it's doing absolutely great right now we have some big beautiful leaves as well as a ton of flowers and little cucumbers that are developing. However, the size is not quite growing as fast as I wanted to. I have like one or two large ones. You could see um, like back here, this one is getting bigger as well as there's like another one somewhere close by to it that's also growing about the same in size, but the majority of them are staying nice and small like this, you could see. So. The reason why that is, is because the plant is just con um, concentrating its growth on, on putting on uh, all these new basically runners, like, um, let me see, an example, like so, so you see basically, right over here we got another runner that's just popping out, so I'm just going to clip that off, and the runner is basically, Right over here, you could see that it's a, it's a new a new growth altogether. It's going to have new flowers growing, like so. This is a little miniature flower that's developing, as well as a little small leaf right next to it, right there, and so on and so forth. So basically, I'm going to have to come in, and everywhere I see new growth that's developing like that, I'm going to have to clip off. And what that's going to do is that's going to focus the growth back onto the existing fruits that are already there and get them nice and plump for me. So as you see, I have basically runners that are everywhere right now. So this plant just keeps on producing, man. It's producing so fast. I've been clipping this thing on a regular basis and it's just nonstop as you see. So. I'm basically going to do this whole area here and I'll show you guys what it looks like when I'm, when I'm done and kind of like how many runners we have. So we'll be right back. So that's what I got so far. So I figured the easiest way to kind of like tackle this thing is basically to just kind of start from one end and just basically move from each vine down down. So that's kind of like the direction that I'm going to go. So. Let me show you guys real quick before we do that. I actually have one that's growing this way. And normally I would clip this, but I kind of did this on purpose. I want this to fill in. And when this fills in, it's gonna look nice and beautiful. And cover this whole section up. So kind of cover up all that junk that I have there on the side. It's kind of like my little storage area for the plants. So you see basically over here, even all this new growth even right over here you can see we got the we have the leaf right here then we got the flower and the cucumber and right next to it that's the new runner that's developing so I'm gonna clip that off and I'm gonna work my way down guys so let me just show you what I just grabbed ah, and I dropped it that's alright let's grab one more so you see we got the leaf we got the main vine that's going and then you got the cucumber that's growing there and right next to it, basically, you could see you got the little runner. So that's the runner, guys. Super small, really small or really big, it doesn't matter. You could, you could clearly tell that it's a runner. All that's supposed to be is the main vine, the leaf, and the cuke. That's it. So let's clean everything up, and we'll be right back. So I literally just clipped this um, little runner right here and you could see that water droplets are beginning to come out of that little, that spot right there. Now, cucumber plants retain a ton of water, guys. It's probably like, I would say a good 80, 90% water retaining in there. And look at this, man. It's absolutely beautiful just watching that little water droplet come out. Now, normally when you're outside and you're clipping a whole lot of cucumber plants at once, you may it might be exposed and some bugs or, or, or infections might go into that hole right there and kind of infect the plant so i kind of want to avoid that so what i'm going to do is basically grow it indoors
All right, so we got everything clipped up and cleaned up right now. So you could see this is what we have basically. Looks like I took off a lot of cucumbers. However, look at how many cucumbers are left, guys. There's just so many cucumbers here. I'm honestly not gonna be able to eat all these if they all grow at once. So I will be sharing some of these with my neighbors, hopefully. And let's see how many we get. If you guys have some good cucumber recipes, let me know. And so what I did is basically I clipped off all the ends that are growing. You can see right over here, I just kind of pushed it under there, kind of hold it in place. I have one more here somewhere, where is it? Yeah, here it is. So same thing, I clipped off the end so it stops growing. And it concentrates its growth basically on all the cucumbers that are developing there. And I took off all the suckers that I found. It took a really long time, a lot longer than expected. Because a lot of these, let me just kind of pick this up, are super small, you could see. Now, it doesn't matter how small they are, you can still see the little miniature cucumber developing. And that's why it's focusing all of this growth and wasted energy on all this new growth and fruits that are basically not developing. So, some of them were dead like this, like I mentioned. But the majority were just suckers that are growing. So now that everything is cleaned up, I think probably even tomorrow I will see most likely a big difference in the size of the, the cucumbers there. Cucumbers grow really fast, guys, especially hydroponically. I'm sure most likely, hopefully within a week or so, I should have a decent size to show you guys and we'll be asking for more. But before we go, we got to check out the roots. So first, let's see how much nutrients are left. We got just over two gallons here. And let's pop this open and see what's going on inside. And man, look at this. Absolutely love seeing the roots, guys. It's so beautiful. And one of the major benefits of growing hydroponically, you get to enjoy that. So if you're growing in soil, you don't get to see any of these guys. I don't know. I like my hydroponics, but I do love the smell of soil gardening, so can't beat that. And after clipping everything here, honestly, it smells really good in here, guys. It smells a lot like cucumbers, so that kind of got me excited for what's to come. If you liked the episode, guys, please show me some love. Hit that thumbs up. Post any messages or comments down below. I'll do my best to respond. And we'll be back soon for more, guys. As always, thanks for watching.